Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting video. We are going to be doing a first impressions using finally the Lunar Lavender palette from Kaleidos. It is the Futurism 6 palette, I think. I'm not good at Roman numerals, so I think it's number six. And look at this gorgeous packaging here. Isn't that stunning? We're going to be diving into this for the first time, creating this look. I had a lot of fun with this. I really enjoyed this palette. And you get to see my first initial thoughts. You'll get to see swatches. You'll get to see all the beautifulness that is this palette. How beautiful is this? I'm slightly blinding myself because I'm getting the reflection off the mirror here because there is a mirror here, but I don't want to blind you guys. But so beautiful. And yeah, I'm excited. So we all know, if you're not new to my channel, that I love Kaleidos Formula and that I love Kaleidos six pan palettes and I want them to bring out many more of these. I think these would be so fun seasonally as well. Do a little spooky one, do a little Christmas one. I think that'd be very cute for Kaleidos. But I'm always interested to see what Kaleidos come out with for their little palettes or bigger palettes as well because the Club Nebula is one of my favorite palettes as well. I'm gonna pop up the swatches of this palette and all the up close view of this palette as I am talking. But this is the inside here just before we get into to all of that and you will see it all up close now. I think it's really interesting to have the two browns in this palette and having it with just two shimmers. Maybe I would have popped another shimmer in there. Who knows? I, I kind of like the tones. You'll see them swatched out the tones of these browns as well because I think they will work really well because I was a bit iffy about that at first. That's why I got this Sashimi City first as my palette from this collection. But then I went in with this because I was like, no, I think I can make that work. And I think I will be able to make it work. I'm going to do quite a soft look using the neutral shades with the shimmers and see how that works out for me in my two looks on palette, which will be coming soon. But I just love, I love the tones of the purple and I think they work really well together. And the shimmers are just magical. As always from Kaleidos, they just get it right every time. And I just had a really fun time playing with this. So I hope you guys are excited for this video we are gonna jump right in in a second before we jump right in though my instagram is linked down below where i will be posting all the pictures of this look sometime after this video goes live also my tiktok is down below where i post all fun stuff there and hit subscribe down below to see my two looks on palette coming up soon so that is kind of my initial thoughts my first kind of go at this palette and seeing what i think and the swatches so you can see them all up close as well but now we're going to get into the action we're going to see them all in action we're going to see them all on the eye we're going to create this look together so let's see how we get on with the first impressions okay so we're getting into our first impressions oh i'm so excited for this the kaleidos futurism six palette the Lunar Lavender palette. I'm so excited about this. I've already taken the little bit of paper, the like plastic thing with the names on it. So obviously it's a mostly kind of lavender purple palette and then you've got some nice kind of cool tone mauvey brown sort of shades here as well. Two beautiful duochromes. I'm just going to do a purple eye because I mean I have to see what these purples are like, test out those purples and I'm going to be using both of the uh, shimmers, both of the duochromes. We're just mm, probably going to do a half cut crease I think with a bit of glitter primer and we'll just kind of See how we get on with that. I've already got my brows on, my skin on, and my eyeshadow primer on. It's all listed down below, so you can see what I use there. I've also got my contour on because I use the cream, but that will be listed down below, and I'll go through it towards the end. So to start, I'm taking a Cash Beauty K08 brush, a small blending brush. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take this purple here, the darker purple, which is Dreamscape, I think it's that one there. Picks up quite well on the brush, and we're just gonna pop this starting on the outer corner. Just want to see how much I can build this darker purple out. It's not a dark purple, it's just the darker purple in the palette. Build this up and we're going to run that through the whole crease. Not blending this out just yet because I'm going to use the lighter purple for that. But I am going to bring it all the way into here so that way when we cut the crease there's enough depth in here to give me a nice bit of definition. That's such a pretty tone of purple, oh my god. Not too pink, but there is a bit of pink in it. Well, obviously there is pink in it, it's purple. But like a, there, you can see that there's pink in it but it's not so pink. It's still a lavender sore shade. So I'm gonna take that same shade. I'm gonna take a K10 brush from Cash Beauty, which is their small little smudgy brush, one of my favorite brushes in that brush set. And that is gonna go along the lower lash line. I just want to do this really nice kind of standard eye with a half cut crease and just really show off these colors and the purples. So make sure you connect on the outer corner here 
and I'm bringing about two thirds way over. I'm going to leave a little gap in there for a bit of shimmer because I feel like putting a bit of shimmer in there. Just getting it really close to the lashes and make it as thick as you want it to be. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. I had the names all backwards. So that was actually Midnight Flora was that darker purple shade. I'm sure you're all yelling at your screen if you already have this palette. And then I'm going to take Wisteria, which is this paler lavender shade. I don't know why I had it backwards. I never even looked properly. So I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush. And this is a K06 brush, which is just their big fluffy brush in that brush set. And I'm just going to use this because this is such a soft brush to really softly blend around the edges with that lighter lavender. So I do want there, it to look like the lighter lavender is there. Obviously, I don't want it to not be seen, but I'm kind of using it just to kind of transition out that darker purple. That blends it out so nice, like so smooth because they are like very similar colors. Just one is lighter than the other. I'm going to take that same shade again and I'm taking this on a Real Techniques shading brush. So just like a stumpy little small I don't know what would you call a flat fluffy brush and we're just going to use that to blend out the lower lash line exactly like the top so the lavender the lighter lavender should literally wrap around the darker one the whole way across okay so now we're going to work on our shimmers and I'm going to use my next glitter primer we're going to use this to apply the shimmers and also to cut out my crease taking a little bloop of that on to the actual lid this is a K09 brush from Cash Beauty. So I like to kind of evenly spread it across the lid just to get a nice even spread. And I'm going to put a bit of pressure down when I start getting into here and it'll start to carve out that inner part in here. We'll take away a little bit of the shadow and I like to naturally go a little bit higher than my crease because I get a bit of transfer and that just stops me from getting transfer keeps the edge nice and sharp and then I've just wiped off that same brush and I'm gonna actually go for this guy which is moon roof the kind of bluey or violety sort of color this like shifts from a purple to a blue to a little bit of pink as well so this one's actually going to go on the inner part you would think to do the lighter shade in the inner part which you absolutely can do but just for a bit of weird, I want to do it this way. Oh, it's like it's glowing. Oh my God. Now like the Sashimi City. Oh, oh, nearly swore. Um, This is, these are like toppery kind of shimmers. So you can layer them over the other colors in this palette or any, any colors you have. Um, so I will just apply it firstly with my actual brush, but then I'm going to go with my finger in a minute. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of following along almost the whole way across the edge of that cut crease, filling in the inner part in here and leaving the rest bare. Okay, it looks like they're literally glowing. Oh my God. So then just wiping that same brush off again, I'm going to take the actual Dreamscape, which is this light shade here. So this one goes from like a lavender pink into a little bit of a gold, which I think would be really interesting, especially against the purple tones, which would then also go with the more neutral tones in this palette as well, which is a nice little mix. And I mean, they'll kind of blend into each other very easy. So I'm just patting over where they meet and then just feathering it over into the matte purple, which I will blend in a second. So yeah, like you can see through these colors, like you can see my skin through, especially this lighter shade, you can see through it a little bit which I do not mind at all. I think it's so beautiful and glitzy. But say if you don't like seeing your lid colour through, you don't like seeing any of the like veininess of your lids or whatever it is, just use an opaque base. I didn't because I don't normally, but you can. Or use a concealer to cut out your crease as well. That would work too. Okay, so now I'm taking the moon roof, the bluier wood, and I'm just on my finger, just going to press a bit of that. Yep you get way more pigment that way. It's just with these sort of shades, top shades, the idea is that you just take your finger and top them over whatever shadows you're wearing. Then I'm going in with the Dreamscape and press that over as well. Because we've done all our blending, I just want the bulk of where the shadow is to be very opaque. Oh yeah, that made such a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell. Okay, so now going back in with my K08 brush, taking Midnight Flora, the one I got wrong, and just gonna press that over the edge of that lighter shimmer just so that they blend into each other nicely. Okay, and then for the inner corner, it's quite a quick look actually. I'm gonna just take the, what do you call Dreamscape again, the lighter shimmer, and we're just gonna pop that onto the inner corner. I'm just gonna use the same flat brush because I already have the product on it. So that's just gonna go onto this little inner corner in here, just to highlight a little bit. Oh, it has started raining heavy outside. It was a very nice day today and it started raining. Anyway, 
my spirits are bright because of this gala and I think it's so beautiful. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to finish off the eye. I don't know what else I want to do. I don't know if I want to do a purpley lip or a dark lip. Mm, the dark lip is always an option. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to make a decision and then I'll come back and let you know what I used on the rest of my face. Okay, guys, so this is how I finish off the look. Have I got lipstick on my teeth? No, this is not a very forgiving lip for teeth if your teeth are not completely white, but anyway i still love the look so let me go through everything that i used on my face on my eyes i didn't do any upper lash line liner because they're more pastel-y kind of or softer purples i just want to do my waterline so i went in with my la girl shockwave neon eyeliner in the shade vivid which is the most perfect purple to match that darker purple that we used my mascara then is my silk and glory thick and fast what i've been using for the time being it's not like my favorite mascara in the whole world but it works really well and I like it for when I'm wearing lashes anyway. So my lashes then, I went in with my old Reliables. These are my Kiss Look So Natural Flirty Lashes. I've got a multi-pack of them. These are on their way out, I'd say. I have another couple of uses out of them, but I'd say they're on their way out and I'm very excited to bust into a brand new pair. On the cheeks then, my contour is, my contour slash bronzer is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber from Fenty Beauty. One of my faves and I've just used that to contour up my face. And then I use this guy, which I haven't used in a while, but I thought it was the perfect opportunity to use this. This is the Fetish Cheek Palette from kvd beauty i think it came out at like christmas or something like that one year i used coven as my blusher which you wouldn't think it but that's what it looks like there i was shocked i was shocked i thought it was going to be a lot cooler tone than this then i used um telepathy as or telepathy telepathy is the way i would say it. anyway as my highlight to kind of match it kind of matches that like inner part really well it's almost like a mix of the two shimmers actually now that I think about it. And then I did go for a darker lip. So I'll show you that. I also went for a KVD lip. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Aisha. Aisha. This kind of cool toned purple shade. And then on top of that, I went in with my MAC Dazzle Glass in Fun Tabulous, which is like a duochrome fuchsia kind of shade. It just kind of pinks it up a little bit, takes the dullness away from the lip, gives a little bit of pink and a gloss too. So that is my first time using the Kaleidos Futurism 6 palette, the Lunar Lavender palette, and I'm loving it. I think this is so pretty. The mattes blend beautifully. I'm interested to see how these more neutral shades work with the shimmers or with the matte purples as well. I'll probably try and use nearly everything in the palette as I see fit um, in one of my two looks one palettes and I'll probably do quite a soft kind of soft glam version of like purple tones. So yeah I'm loving it. Nothing short of what I always expect from Kaleidos formula. It's beautiful. Love the packaging. Love it all. I, I'm i very excited just to get into play a little bit more and have a little purple palette that's a nice purple and neutral kind of palette but the kind of neutrals I would use, cool toned mauvey neutrals, love that. So I want to know down in the comments below what do you think of this look and what do you think of this palette, what are your thoughts, what was your first impressions of this, give me your review, it's not just about me, it's about your review too and let me know down in the comments below all your thoughts and if you would wear this look as well I would like to know that too. If you did like this video give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video and I will continue to do many more. Also hit subscribe down below to see my two looks one palette coming up sometime and I know when because I don't know when anything's gone up I just kind of film these as I see fit and I post them when I have them ready so <laughs> hit subscribe down below to see anything I have posted coming soon and as I said in the beginning my Instagram is linked down below where the up close pictures of this look of my full face and up close eye pictures of this look will go live and also my TikTok down below where I do all my fun little transition things so I think that is everything from me this time and I will see you in the next video guys bye